This question involves a slight element of luck. We know where we need to start, we know where we need to end, and you need to find the path to get from the start to the end in the quickest, most efficient way possible, because this is only worth three marks. However, if you go off down the wrong track, you could find yourself a little bit lost. So, what we need to do is to um, basically try and make the start bit look a bit nicer. So, 1 over 1 plus 1 over the square root of 2. To make this look a little bit nicer, I'm just going to times it by 1. So, square root of 2 over the square root of 2. This is going to give us the square root of 2. Um, 1 times square root of 2 is square root of 2, 1 times square root of 2 is the square root of 2, plus um, 1 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just going to give us 1. So what I've done is I've got rid of this nasty bit here, um, where we've got a fraction with it in a fraction, just by timesing that out, so the square root of 2 becomes a bit like times it by square root of 2 or square root of 2, times it by 1. I can times things by 1, that is allowed. Now what I have is another fraction. I want to get rid of this other fraction and I have this on the bottom so this is what I'm going to take to be 1 in my next round of multiplication. So square root of 2 over the square root of 2 plus 1 times and this bit is the bit that I'm going to make my 1 fraction except um, I'm going to switch it around because we can look back here and see that I've got a negative sign up here So I somehow need to get a negative square root So I'm going to times that by square root of 2 minus 1 Over the square root of 2 minus 1 and this is going to give me 2 square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is going to be 2 square root of 2 minus 1 is going to be minus the square root of 2 over. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is going to give us 2. 1 times minus 1 is going to give us minus 1. Now, 2 times minus 1, we can cancel this down. So we have 2 minus the square root of 2. 2 times 1 equals 1. Anything divided by 1 is just going to give us 2 minus the square root of 2, which is the answer we are looking for. Now, this question, like I said, involves an element of luck, and the only way you can start to recognise patterns and make yourself be luckier is by practising loads and loads and loads of these questions.